Last summer, we spent six weeks traveling through Europe. Now, barely over a year later, we are quitting our jobs and heading back out to travel for as long as we can. We learned a lot from that trip, and now we want to share with you what we packed for long-term travel and some tips to make living out of a suitcase a little bit easier. Last time, we traveled with two check bags and two personal items, and overall it wasn't that bad, but we got really annoyed with having to lug our wheeled suitcases all over the cobblestone streets in Europe, so this time we're downsizing. Now we just have a couple large bags, a personal item, and a fanny pack. We're going to show you how we fit our entire lives into these four items. A really common question we get is how many outfits we pack for an extended trip. So Marshall and I both wrote out a list of all of the items of clothing that we pack, and we were doing this to show you our differences in packing preferences, but these lists actually turned out to be a lot more similar than we were expecting. So starting with the tops, I brought six t-shirts and three long sleeve items. One of them is a nice button down so we can use it for date nights or just whenever I want to be wearing something that hasn't been worn multiple times in a row. So that'd be really nice. <laughs> and I have five short sleeve shirts, two long sleeve shirts, one hoodie, and one dress for a fancier occasion. It doesn't sound like a ton of stuff, but really this covers all the categories that I need. But then on top of that, we're also going to be traveling in winter. So we're each bringing a puffy jacket and a windbreaker, so that should cover a lot of situations. And I get cold very easily, so I'm also bringing one zip-up sweater for pretty much every day because I always get cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so then for bottoms, like I, I'm bringing three pairs of shorts. One of them is a an athletic pair for running, um, but I normally just wear pants, so I'm bringing three pairs of khakis and a belt to go along with it. And I'm bringing one pair of jean shorts, one pair of athletic shorts, one pair of blue jeans, and two leggings. And then to finish it all out, I'm bringing one pair of swim trunks and for underwear, this is the important one. 10 pieces of underwear and seven socks. Should be enough for a week at least. Hopefully we can get to a laundromat or have a laundry machine in our Airbnb within that amount of time. And I'm actually doing the same thing. I have one swimsuit, 10 days worth of underwear and seven days worth of socks, but then I also have a sports bra, a normal bra and a strapless bra. So that's pretty much everything we're bringing. It doesn't sound like a lot in some cases because like for some of these items we don't even have enough for a full week but we're hoping that we can hit some laundromats or find laundry places within a reasonable amount of time. Plus, once you start having to pack for winter, your backpacks get really full really quick. So here's a summary of everything we're bringing. When it's listed out, it kind of looks like a lot, but I mean, it's really not too much stuff and they all fit in our bags. So I think it's a perfect amount. In my opinion, the best way to make living on the road a little bit more comfortable is to invest in some nice, quality, useful toiletry items. On our last trip, all of our toiletry items were just packed together in a gallon bag separated by smaller sandwich bags, and it was one, wasteful because the bags broke really easily, so we need to get new bags every once in a while, but it was also just really gross because after using all that stuff in the shower, water would get in, it wouldn't really get out very easily, and it would just get wet and gross over time. So we learned that we need to upgrade. My favorite upgrade that we made is we changed all of our soaps to be bar form instead of liquid, and we store them in these nice matador soap cases. They can fit most normal size bars. They're very big when you unfold them. You just slide your soap bar in, you roll it up, clamp it together, and it keeps all of the water out while you're not using it. And honestly, these things are magical because when you put your soap in, even if it's a little bit wet, when you open it up the next time, it will have dried it all up. So you're not reaching in to some nice, damp, soft soap. It'll dry it right up for you and it makes it just so much more pleasant getting to the next location, knowing that your materials aren't gonna be sitting in water on the whole way. We love using these bar products because you can take them through TSA and they just last so much longer than liquid soap. To go along with our soap bags, we also picked up a few of these mesh bags from Ethique to hold our broken pieces once our soap bars are close to running out. We don't use these when we have full soap bars because the rough material tends to make them go away faster. So this really is just for towards the end of your soap bar where it's starting to break apart and it's kind of hard to keep together. This makes it easier to use it for just a little bit longer. My next favorite item that we upgraded to, or more that I upgraded to, this is for me, not for Marshall, but I got Erase Your Face Makeup Wipes. These are the first reusable makeup wipes I've ever tried and Honestly, whether we were traveling or not, I wish I found these so much sooner. You just run them under some warm water to activate them, take off your makeup, and that's it. They are so soothing. My eyes used to get so irritated by trying to take off my makeup with disposable wipes, and this just, it it's wonderful. It's so soft, it does not irritate my skin, and my skin just overall feels so much better after taking my makeup off with these. Other than that, we have some very ordinary toiletry items. We have deodorant for each of us, face scrub. I have a razor, which I don't have a fancy package for, but this one is super easy to just dry off on a towel before I pack it up. So this one does not get gross at all. So I'm fine with that. Uh, 
floss, toothbrushes, toothpaste, we have our retainers, and then I have a hair clip and comb. We fit all of that stuff into this nice little toiletry bag by Sea to Summit. This is their large bag, and it is incredible. It is so spacious. You can tell it's just a nice quality material that is going to last us a very long time. When you open it up, it has so many different compartments to stay nice and organized. It has a hook that allows you to hang it over a shower. It looks like a small hook, so maybe we'll run into some issues with finding a place to hold it. But so far, it's been able to hang in every shower that we have tried. We haven't had any issues. You do have to get a little bit creative sometimes, but we have found there's usually a way. It also has a mirror inside, which is super useful if you're staying in an accommodation that doesn't have a mirror. It's nice to just have your own option always available. And it's really nice, super easy to take everything out and just kind of dab this dry with a washcloth before you pack everything back up. Cause I mean, it's gonna be in the shower, obviously it's gonna get wet and it just makes it so easy to keep everything nice and dry and clean in between your trips. So here it is with everything packed into it. We have been so happy with this bag. It fits everything that we need. And you could even squeeze a good bit more into this. There's definitely room for more. Like I said earlier, it's totally worth the investment. This is such a good upgrade compared to the gallon bags that we used to use. It just makes it so much more comfortable to be in different bathrooms all the time. I'm the computer nerd of us two, so I'm gonna be talking about the electronics, and we have quite a bit. My favorite part about all this definitely has to be the computer setup. Sabrina and I are both bringing laptops, but I write code quite a bit, and so I was a little bummed that I wasn't gonna be able to bring my whole computer setup with me. Now that's actually changed though, because I got this laptop stand that's really portable, as well as a really small 40% keyboard and a wireless mouse. All this stuff I can cram right into my backpack, and it goes up and down super quickly. You can set it up pretty much anywhere because of how small it is, and then just throw it back in the backpack. As far as camera equipment, I'm using the camera right now, which is actually just Sabrina's iPhone. It's pretty high quality, but we also have a Rode mic that just attaches to it so you get a little bit better sound quality. The newest edition and the one that's just like crazy to me that we are even allowed to own <laughs> is, this, is this DJI drone. Um, we haven't played around with it too much, but since we just, we don't have a traditional camera, it's nice to up some of the production quality by having a drone to fly around. Plus it's just super cool. I mean, it's like, I don't know, it, it's insanely cool and I love it. The other piece of camera equipment we have is a GoPro. We do quite a bit of active stuff while traveling, you know, swimming, rafting, whatever it is. So we have this GoPro with a waterproof case. We also have this tripod that doubles as a charger for it, and it has some controls so you can control it straight from the handle if you're using it that way. Since we're gonna be doing a lot of active stuff, we also got this chest mount for the GoPro and then a few other attachments. Since we're doing a lot of filming, we get a ton, a ton of video files. And so it's really nice to have some extra storage. I mean, our phone and our laptop storage would be really hurting if we didn't have these. So it's just a couple of solid state drives, really nice to have while traveling. Since Sabrina and I are gonna be doing so much work on the road, it was really important for us to get a nice quality battery because we're not always gonna have access to a good wall outlet when we're on the road working. One that we found that we really liked is this Omni Charge battery. It's a 71 watt hour battery, which means that we can charge pretty much a full laptop on it. It has an AC adapter, so you can just plug your laptop charger straight into it, which is awesome, as well as a wireless charger, so you can just plop your phone right on top, set it on the table, and all your stuff is charging. We also have one that's half the storage capacity. This one you can just put right in your pocket if your phone's running out of power, which it did a lot because we did so much walking while traveling. While I'm on the power stuff, I might as well get out of the way some of the more boring things, but useful to a lot of people. Last time we just had this really simple travel adapter. It worked in most of Western Europe, but it didn't work in Switzerland. So we got this new one. It has four different regions on it. We can switch between them super easily. It has some USB ports, so this will be really nice. Now, as you can see here, we have a ton of different devices, some that use micro USB, USB-C, and lightning ports. So we got this cable that can do all. And what's really, really nice is it's like six or 10 feet long, I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's way longer than a normal cable. And so this is nice when you have to reach over somebody on the train, plug it under their feet, but then working on something over in the other seat. Now, we have pretty much all the work and video stuff out of the way. So we have a little bit of entertainment things. We have a couple Kindles because it's just, not realistic for us to bring a bunch of books around. And we really do like to read, so this is just an amazing addition. We also have a few pairs of headphones. There's not too much to note here, but they're just really nice to have when on travel days or in noisy areas. One thing to note though is Sabrina uses the Raycon earbuds and she has really small ears, so it's kind of hard to find headphones that are good for her. And those work super well. Plus they just have pretty good sound quality, so she's been really happy with them. So that pretty much wraps it up. It's quite a bit of stuff. And even though it seems like a lot, and there's even more 
wires and cases for the drone and things like that. It all fits in my personal item backpack, so I'm actually really happy with how much we were able to fit in just that one item that we can carry everywhere. And there's even some extra room for snacks and whatever we need on a plane. To start out this category, we're actually going to start with a few things that are not necessarily miscellaneous, but we forgot to mention them when we should have earlier. So first off, Marshall and I are both bringing two pairs of shoes, one pair of sandals and one pair of tennis shoes. Another thing is my makeup bag, which totally could have gone with toiletries, but again, we didn't think about it. So all I have in here is just a mini hairspray, mascara, stuff like that. I don't wear a ton of makeup, but this is just enough to keep it organized. One of the things that we really wish we had had last time, because we like to get a lot of groceries when we're, when we're traveling, and my backpack is gonna be much more full this time with all the electronics. It's just a simple grocery bag. Another item that we kind of had last time but has been upgraded for this trip are our two little microfiber Euphoria towels. They're also quick dry, so there's just so many benefits with this. With the towels that we had last year, they were just normal bathroom towels. They definitely were not quick dry, so we had to put them in our backpacks before they were super dry and they got really stinky really fast. And so hopefully that'll be less of an issue here. Yeah, like she said, it's really not fun to pack wet things in your backpack. So we got this wet pack. We can just throw swimsuits, towels, whatever in here and no moisture is gonna get in or out. We can also use it on rainy days when we don't wanna get our electronics wet. So we can just throw these in here and it'll stay dry. It also just rolls up really small and so we can fit it in our backpack nice and easy out of the way. Another thing that is super, super handy is this pack of laundry detergent sheets. There are so many good things about this. Sometimes when you're on the go all the time, you have to resort to doing your laundry in a sink. And typically if your accommodation does not have a washer, they likely will not have washer detergent. So these are great because they are obviously not liquid, they're sheets, so you can stuff as many as you need into your suitcase and then you're ready to do your laundry wherever you need to. So if you hadn't noticed by now, we're going on a big trip and one of the things we need is a passport. What we didn't know though, is that passports are actually RFID enabled, so people can swipe it and get some of your information. What this does is it's RFID blocking, so people can't do that if they swipe past your bag. Also, we can put our vaccine information in here and just other important documents, and it's just all in one safe place. Kind of nice, so. The rest of the stuff in this category are not very unique, but are definitely necessary. So we're just gonna go through the rest of them real quick. So we both have our water bottles. These are super important. Always need to have nice cold water. We both wear glasses and contacts. So we both have our glasses cases as well as a supply of contacts. We also have very practical stuff like allergy relief, ibuprofen, band-aids, and any other medications we need. We're also in noisy places very often. So we always make sure to have a pair of earplugs with us so that we can get away from the noise when we need to. And I think that is all for our miscellaneous items. The last category on the list may be the most interesting for a lot of people. I know it definitely was for us, and it took us a while to figure out what we were gonna do. This is the backpack, and we got the Coda Taxi Alpha 35 liter backpack, and we absolutely love it. When coming from a suitcase like we used last summer, it can be a little difficult to go to a backpack because there's a lot of compartments in some suitcases, but most backpacks don't have that. This is actually one of the only backpacks that we've seen that has a lot of different packing compartments and it just makes packing so much easier. A lot of our favorite things in this backpack are actually on the outside though. Some of them are the safety features, which are really, really cool. When fully closing the backpack, the zippers are actually really difficult to get open. They go through this loop at the very end, and so it makes it really difficult for somebody just running by and trying to swipe some of your stuff to get past. So that's a really simple safety feature that it has that we really like. So given that we've really packed this backpack up with all of our stuff, it gets really heavy. And what's really cool about this is it has some features that just take some of the load off of you. Some, there's some simple things like the fact that it has a waist and a chest strap, which takes a lot of the weight off your lower back which is really good for people who have back problems. But also you can completely store the straps inside the back of the backpack. And this allows you to just use it like you would a duffel bag. Moving over to the sides of the backpack, it has a pretty standard laptop sleeve feature, which is nice. But the cool thing is it also has a pass through to the main compartment. So you can just grab something really quick and go back without having to open up the entire backpack because it can be pretty hard to open. There is one downside of this backpack though. It doesn't have a water bottle holder. This isn't a super huge deal though, even though we do carry water bottles everywhere, you can just super easily attach a carabiner to one of the mini straps on the side of it. Plus if there was a water bottle holder, you might not have the ability to have the straps on all sides. So it's a trade-off, but I think it's worth it. Even though it doesn't have mini outside compartments, it does have one on the top, which is really nice because pretty much it seems like no matter how much you fill it up, there's always extra room in the top of this. So it's really useful to have there. On the inside of the pack, we have four main compartments. One big one that we usually use to carry all of our big clothes. It is not really a compartment as it's the entire one side of it, but it does zip up so it does keep it separate from the rest of the stuff, which is really nice. 
On the other side, we have three different compartments. One of the smaller compartments actually comes pre-filled with the rain cover, but we're probably gonna use this for a little bit of an extra safety feature to hide all of the zippers and just deter people even more to not steal our stuff. <laughs> so there are two of those smaller compartments and then one a little bit larger. It doesn't look that big, but it actually goes completely under the two smaller ones. So there's quite a bit of room on this side to pack all of your socks and underwear and, and other small things, or at least that's how we do it. So since Sabrina and I both have the same backpack that covers both of our carry-ons and are the biggest items, we're also bringing a personal item backpack and a fanny pack. We originally weren't super impressed by the fanny pack, but after packing it for what we would think we would use on a day trip, we're super impressed by it. It carries way more than we thought it would, and we think this will be super useful. And then the personal item backpack is obviously really useful and is what we're using to carry pretty much all of our electronics. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. So. so I think these four items will work really well together and provide a nice balance of small and big luggage items to carry on day trips or full travel days. Okay, so here is all of our stuff. This is everything we're gonna have with us while we're traveling. And we just wanted to pack it up for you guys so you can see it all in one place. slacking a little bit that time. So that's pretty much it. We are so happy with our little setup. We do not miss lugging around our wheeled suitcases. We are so happy to be just in backpacks now. I hope you were able to take away something from this video and thanks for watching.